In this example, we have been asked to solve by factoring. Notice that you already have zero on the right-hand side. Look at the left-hand side and determine if there are any common factors. We examine our numbers and we see that there are no factors common to all four terms. Likewise, there are not any variables common to all four terms since your negative 9 contains no variable. This is special as far as the kind of factoring that you're going to do. Notice that we have four terms and also that those four terms are in the form a cube, a square, an x, and a constant. If that's the case, there's a special kind of factoring that's called factor by grouping. And even though not all problems that look like this factor by grouping, it's the first thing that we're going to try. Factor by grouping means that you take the first two terms and you group them together. The next thing you do is you always put a plus sign in between the two groups. I'm about to create a second group, so always put a plus in between. The second group is created by the last two terms. Notice that the 18 had a negative in front of it, so you want to say negative 18x and then minus 9. And then you keep the equal 0. Once you've done that, you would then want to see if there's factors common to each group. So for example, in the first group, we can see that there's an x squared common to each. So we want to factor out an x squared, and then we'd be left with 2x plus 1. In the second group, we would also want to see if there's factors in common. Anytime this very first term is negative, always factor a negative out. The positive sign that I had in between each group is dependent on what you're factoring out of that second group. If you factor a positive out, it would remain positive. If you factor a negative out, we can change it to a negative. So in this case, we can see there's a 9 in common, but we actually factor out a negative 9. Okay, we would then have a 2x and a plus 1 left over. The reason that the signs changed is because you're factoring out a negative value. So if you take negative 18 and factor out a negative 9, you'd be left with positive 2. Same thing with the negative 9. So both the signs on the inside have changed. Now, in order for factor by grouping to work, you have to have the same values inside each group at this point. And so if those two values are not the same, you've either made a mistake or it won't factor by grouping. Now in this case, they are the same. And so what you do is you write that factor that is repeated only once. What you're doing is you're saying, I've got a group here and a group here. Both groups share the 2x plus 1. Now that that's been factored out, what's left over? Well, what's left over are the values in front of those groups, the x squared minus the 9. And then of course you still have your equal 0. Okay, now technically this polynomial has been factored because the sign in between these two groups is multiplication. However, notice that the x squared minus 9 factors further. That's a difference of squares. So I'm going to keep the 2x plus 1 and then I'm going to factor the x squared minus 9. Difference of squares means that I have a square term at the front and a square term at the back. Notice that 9 is 3 squared. Also important is you have to have a minus sign in between the two terms. This would factor as x plus 3 and x minus 3. So if you can, factor as far as you can. Now, I'd set each of these factors equal to 0. And then solve each one. So this one, I would subtract the 1. I'd have 2x is negative 1. Divide by 2. So I'd have x equals negative 1 half. This one, subtract over the 3. 
you'd have x equals negative 3. And then finally, add over the 3 here, and you would have x equals 3. Okay, so this particular problem would have three separate answers. Um, by now, you're familiar with how to enter them online. You just separate them with commas.